Hi, I'm Jessica Gregory and this is my EcoBuzz. Often we think of environmental conservation as human action that involves replacing something from the environment that has been lost, like planting trees or native pollinator gardens or releasing animals back into the wild to rehabilitate struggling populations. While all of these actions should be encouraged, we also need to realize that sometimes conservation means removing something from the environment, such as a species that doesn't naturally occur there or that has a negative impact on native species. Tree Thinning is a forest management practice that involves selective removal of certain trees from the landscape. This is beneficial for several reasons. First, it reduces a forest's vulnerability to disease and insect pests by maintaining a healthy tree density. Forests where trees are too densely packed together or that are made up predominantly of one tree species are like a gourmet meal just waiting for hungry guests to arrive. Second, thinning is a way to reduce a forest's susceptibility to fire. Diseased or aging trees are removed before they die, preventing them from becoming fuel to enhance the spread of unmonitored burns. Third, and most importantly, thinning is a way to increase biodiversity and improve the overall health of the ecosystem. Selectively removing some trees alters the environment and allows more light and moisture to the forest floor. This creates a suitable habitat for more species of plants and wildlife. All in all, when done properly, thinning increases the resiliency of forests to disease, pests, and fire, and results in a healthier, more diverse ecosystem. The Ottawa County Parks and Recreation Commission has successfully utilized this practice to improve the habitat quality of several parks, including Riley Trails, Hemlock Crossing, and Robinson Forest. Stearns Creek is a recent park acquisition where thinning will be implemented in the near future. Currently, Stearns Creek possesses a variety of pine trees that were originally planted with the purpose of harvesting as Christmas trees or lumber, but they wouldn't naturally grow here. Removing them would eliminate potential safety hazards from aging trees, and it would also provide space for regrowth of native vegetation. What's more, Stearns Creek Park is so far the most biodiverse property within the Ottawa County Park system. Uncommon prairie species like frostweed, grasses, and even this prickly pear cactus are clues that this area was once an oak savanna, a native ecosystem type that's now rare in Michigan. In practical terms, thinning may be unsightly at first, but removing the non-native pines at Stearns Creek will help to revitalize and restore the high-quality oak savanna ecosystem that was once present here. And since ecosystem restoration can be financially burdensome, you'll be happy to know that all of the money received from the pine harvest here at Stearns will go toward the funding of this project. So remember, if you see this, it means that Ottawa County is working diligently with you to restore healthy landscape and create better parks for all to enjoy. Thanks for joining me. I'm out to do some exploring and I hope you will too. Have a great week. Happy naturing. The making of this video was sponsored by the Ottawa County Parks and Recreation Commission.